YouTube, what is up guys? Uh, it is a professional fingerboard setup video today. Ryan at Blacklist Fingerboards sent me a brand new complete. And it's been a while since I've set one of these up. Uh, so I thought you could hang out with me and I could set this up and we will do a few tricks. And I mean we. You are literally helping with this video, so at least root for me or something, I don't know. Or root against me, make it interesting, I, I'm not, I mean, whatever happens. I got my little skate box here, which is just an anchor charger, uh, but uh, yeah, here's the packaging. It's got a really cool graphic of a phoenix, which I think is one of their fingerboard graphics. Uh, this is the graphic I'm working with right now, uh, but it's pretty cool packaging, comes with a little baggie, okay? It goes like this, all right? You can hang it up to see if, if the wind is windy, or you can just feel the wind. Yeah, it's a pretty cool presentation, though. On the bottom, it has some of their graphics, which are really rad. There's like a shark, a BL, a skull, blacklist. So they have some variety. That's awesome. Then also I got a sticker. Oh, here you go. Look, I got a sticker of the Phoenix. Uh, yeah, here it is. Look at that. I'm gonna stick that somewhere. That's a really rad sticker, but it's got a handful of them in here. So they probably sell sticker packs too. But let's get cracking and make this. I do want to point out that, of course, uh, I usually use a tech deck. I've always loved tech deck. Honestly, I genuinely like tech decks. Uh, my hands just feel used to them. And then, of course, tech deck makes revive fingerboards. So I'm honestly gonna want to skate that. But I do like testing out other decks and seeing how they feel. As long as a fingerboard is there, it's like. I can get into it. I've never like had a fingerboard where I just don't like. Really a good quality though. Jeez, look at that gorgeous wood grain. Um, it feels awesome. I think I'm gonna like this. Here's a piece of grip tape. Here's an extra piece of grip tape if I screw up, which is such a possibility. Honestly, I need to YouTube. I don't even know how you're supposed to cut this away. I, I used a razor blade last time I did this and I screwed it up bad. Time of my life. Does that work? I don't know. That's going pretty good. Okay, so I started gripping this and I thought the camera was on, it's not. I'm doing a terrible job, okay? So I'm sorry for everyone that no, really knows how to grip a fingerboard and is out there just cringing. Uh, but the good thing is that your life is gonna stay the same. Only my life is gonna be weird. I did a bad job last time I did this and it skates just the same. Should I put the trucks on first? I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh, I should name this video Idiot Professional Fingerboard Setup, sure. So let's peel this back a little bit to expose. I'm ripping it, great. <laughs> to expose these guys, all right? And I'm just gonna put the trucks on real fast. And they come with little hardware's already, and these are adorable trucks, my gosh. That is the only word you can use to describe these guys. Um, I think these are like 20 bucks on their site. I don't know if that's just the piece of wood or the full complete. I think this is gonna be okay. I think this grip, I think this grip tape will go down nicely. It's kind of weird not to see the bolts on top of the grip tape. Um, I always kind of feel like a mad scientist working on this when I'm working with like tiny screws. This is going smooth. We're almost done. I feel like I'm setting up a skateboard for Ant-Man though. Get on the axle. There we go. We are almost set up and ready to skateboard on this, fingerboard on this, whatever. And we are good. Uh, so here it is. This is the Blacklist Fingerboards Professional Quality Fingerboard. And yeah, I'm sorry about the grip tape, but it will skate just fine. Second try, three flip. So I love little boxes. I'm gonna session this, guys, and I'm gonna set the I'm gonna set the camera on a banana. No, I'm not. All right, but I'll put the banana on the computer so you guys can at least see it. All right, nose blunt. It feels good. It feels really good. Ooh. All right, let's do a kickflip crooked grind. Oh. What? That was completely on accident. I just want to point out that I just did something ingenious. With the leftover grip tape, I put it, I stuck it to the bottom of this, and now the box doesn't move as much. That's, I don't know, that was like a fingerboarding hack right there. That was not on purpose. Boom. Boom. You know what I never do is a kickflip backside tail slide. Gosh, this thing rolls, look at this. Just goes out of YouTube. That was on accident. I'm, most of these tricks I'm not trying. I'm just that bad or good. I don't know which one. Oh, that was on purpose. Let's do some gnarly stuff. Just like that. Crooks. Boom. 
Nolly flip board slide. I'm trying to nolly flip nose slide. Yes, it was a little sketchy, but I don't I don't know if I've ever done that trick or it's been a long time at the very least I'm gonna do two more of my go-to's that shouldn't be as hard I'm gonna do a kickflip nose blunt and a three flip nose blunt. All right Let's do the kickflip nose blunt No. All right, last trick, one of my favorites. I'm taking that one. I could have got into it better, but uh, it's weird because everything I'm normally good at is more difficult with the foam grip and the lighter board than on my normal tech deck. But then I did things that I, I'm terrible at on a tech deck way easier than with this thing. So uh, it just goes to show you every fingerboard is different. Um, I want to thank Ryan from Blacklist at, for sending me this. Uh, it is really cool just to have one around. That is a little different and uh, you know, maybe if I'm having trouble with the trick, I could try it on this, I don't know. But I hope you guys dug this little fingerboard video. I think fingerboard videos are my most requested videos when just I see people like just mentioning it and like, hey, do another fingerboard video. So uh, there you guys go. I just threw it, great. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. If you wanna see more from me, I do uh, normally actual skateboarding um, and then lifestyle and family stuff. It's just uh, anything I think is interesting and fun that's happening in my life. I film it and make it a video for you guys. So uh, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more and then uh, I'll undoubtedly do another fingerboard video uh, sooner than later. Uh, yeah, if you guys can actually get out there and skateboard today on your actual skateboard, go do it. Um, if not, play a video game about skateboarding or fingerboard. I don't know. I'm done telling you what to do with your day. Uh, you guys have a good day. Lucky banana. Goodbye. This is Brian Ames. I need to get back to him. I don't know if I've told this story before, but I was walking to the bus, okay? This is when I rode the bus. I was 13, and a girl was smiling and waving at me, which automatically I should have known that this wasn't actually happening. She was smiling and waving to someone behind me. I had to have told this story before. It's worth hearing again. And uh, I smiled and waved and wasn't looking forward. And our school had these, like, bars that, like, they opened up for when the buses were in. So the, the bar was, like, on the sidewalk instead of closing the road off. And I was smiling, waving her, and I just ran face first. I was short enough. I, I ran face first into this bar. And then I realized she wasn't even smiling and waving at me. But, uh, yeah, that happened. Ah!